rookie on, on rookie deal still. I, I like. I think Trey Lance still has two years left with the fifth fifth year option, and then obviously Brock Purdy has three years left with, with the fifth fifth year option. So I. Obviously, Jimmy G's price tag is going to be $25, $26 million in the end. So, for whatever reason, Kyle Shanahan does not like Jimmy G, whether it be because he stole stole his girl, he's good looking, like, I, 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 I don't know, like, I don't get it. They don't get it along for whatever reason. Brock Purdy is not going anywhere in San Francisco. And, and if you were to trade Trey Lance... Who was a suitor suitor for him? Because he literally hasn't played a more than two games in the NFL or a season since 2019. Four or five years, Combs, he has not played more than three games in a season. So, just like you, just like you said, the first two games that I, that we saw 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 all of him, that the game was just moving a little too fast, right? So, if I'm right. the San Francisco 49ers, G, G, just Jimmy G is gone, right? They're like, I feel like the writing is on the wall. There is going to be somebody out there that is going to overpay for Jimmy G, whether it be the Jets, whether it be the Panthers, whether it be the Raiders, uh, the maybe the Houston Texans. Somebody is going to overpay for him, the Packers. Um, so, we are we're, there, there is going to be an open quarterback competition in San Francisco this offseason. Trey Lance versus Brock Purdy. And I think ultimately Brock Purdy is a very likable, very lovable type of guy. And the team seems to rally around him. We see George Kittle absolutely loves him, right? He always talks about the post games, right? I mean, of course, winning cures, winning cures all. But didn't the 49ers trade up to get Trey Lance? There is no way they're trading him and like getting any va- any more value or equal value out of him. You're you're probably looking at a second, third, third round pick top. So keep him as a backup. It's going to be Brock Purdy, Trey Lance in the end, and they're not going to trade him now. If Trey Lance does show promise during the uh, preseason, right OTAs, all that stuff, maybe they can get a first round pick. But if they're not getting a first first round pick out of it, or Two twos. I don't see it. See it. See it. See it happening. But I do think Brock Purdy ultimately will be the starter Checking in out that man uh, hour San clip. Francisco next year. If you're interested in the next video, click the link right here. Of course, subscribe right here, and always join us Monday through Friday, 8 p.m. East Coast time, right here where you're watching this clip. And as always, Man Hour Nation, rise up.